Hey YouTube, I'm holding my phone. I'm going to try not to shake too much. Um, and I will have her link below as to see for Vlogmas how I assembled eclectic beauty bags. And so I'm going to start by showing you storage, which is just here. So this right here, Ulta had a recent sell. These were a dollar. And so I bought... I think 10 of two different flavors. This, I believe, was a donation. So that's what's there. This is empty. I used to put um, perfume samples in here that you get from like Sephora or Ulta. This box is stuff that I pulled out of my Macari store, not necessarily for a bag, but for a shelter, since these are larger items. And if it's something like setting spray or just a tub of something if they're not skittish or once they get to know each other because they're living in the same home they can share this is a box everything in this box was donated and it is like super exciting <laughs> and i did open it up in a video and i probably need to do um, an eclectic beauty playlist because when i open up these are donations as well when I do open up stuff, it just goes into my haul and sell playlist, and it's not specifically for Eclectic Beauty. So maybe I will do that. I'm not sure. This here is stuff that I purchased a while ago. Sweet and Simmer, Shimmer, excuse me. They had stuff for, I think it was last year. This brand, they had things for 99 cents. And so I bought a bunch of these, and they also had these compact mirrors and I showed these in videos too and I think these might have been like $4.99 or $3.99 or something so that's what these are this is from Ulta these are makeup remover wipes these are bags and I'll show you one that I have packed already that I purchased from um, Amazon for larger palettes because initially I purchased the small bags and some things just did not fit this is I don't know what this is. I believe these are donations. Because when I looked in here, I don't remember purchasing these. So I do think, well, I believe this is, yes, this is donations from someone at the Playhouse when they decluttered um, some makeup that they had not used. These are just empty bags. These, this is a palette that I pulled from my Macari store that was never used. And these are <laughs> Ipsy bags even though they're a little small for um, eclectic beauty stuff. But if it's just something, just a few items, like if we ever get really low and all we have is like eyeshadow palette and a lip gloss, that'll fit in there. These bags are made up already and they're all equal in value. And this bag, I'm going to show you one of these as well that I have at my station already. A friend of mine crochets bags. And so this is filled and ready to go someone who donated to eclectic beauty they also donated bags and so these bags are full and ready to go the shelter i donated to one of their needs was washcloths and hand towels hand towels are hell expensive but i went on amazon and purchased these face cloths and i did show them in a haul video there's 24 in here and she mentioned sometimes they have sensitive skin which i do too and so I have these Aveeno Soothing Bath Treatments. And what it is, is it's a packet. I believe there's eight in here. Yes, there's eight in here. And it's an oatmeal bath. And I remember using these as a kid. I've always had sensitive skin. And even now as an adult, I sometimes use these. And so you just, you run your bath water and you tap, you open it and tap it as the water is coming out of the faucet and after your tub is full then you just sit in it and it helps to soothe your skin so i have these here to also give to the shelter that these face cloths are going to so we're going to go over to my station and i will show you two of the bags that i have made up already we're going to start with chapstick this is cake batter <laughs> <laughs> You've seen me open my 12 days of chapstick. And so I'm going to be rotating. Oh, that smells good. Flavors. Um, three of them. I cracked the lid. But you saw the video probably. 
Um, that was for day three, so that was yesterday's video. <laughs> I want to lick my lips, and that's so gross. Okay, so I'm going to show you two bags. If I'm moving slow, it's because I've been having dizzy spells off and on since about 3 o'clock. And so I'm like moving slow, not trying to make any sudden movements. But I'm going to show you a small bag. These are the ones I initially purchased from Amazon. But then I realized if someone donates larger palettes or if I'm taking out larger palettes from my Macari store or that I receive an Ipsy or BoxyCharm or just larger items, period, they would not fit in here. And so then I ordered these bags from Amazon. So I'm going to show you, let me move slow. These I like, actually, I like both of them because they are reusable and this one does have a snap, which I don't think will last very long. And I did say before that when I put together a beauty bag, wherever it's going, like if they say they have eight beds and so I'll take like 12 in case somebody leaves and a new person comes in, I have all the same stuff in there. It might be a different color blush, different color lipstick, different color eyeshadow, but it'll be the same brand because I don't want, even though they're glad to get what they get, I don't want someone to be like, oh, well, she got this brand. Why did I get that brand? And I try to keep it equal value. If I don't have enough uh, mascaras, none of the bags get mascaras. That's going to that same place because I want everything to be as equal as possible. And so this bag is equal to the one that I showed you. And this bag that's made up is equal to the bags over there. And the crochet bag and the donated bags with donated items all of them have the same stuff in it because when she donated it, she donated like stuff for complete bags. And I'm just like, oh. so all I had to do was assemble it. And so what I do, I'm going to take things out of this bag. And so what I, what I do is, oh, damn, I dropped the liner. I'll be right back. Slow movements. <laughs> So I'll lay out everything and usually I am more organized than that. I used to just have like little um, storage compartments that, okay, this is eyeshadows, this is mascara, this is lip gloss, this is eyeliner, this is lip liner, this is lipstick, this is make removal wipes. And so that way I can just go down the line and just pick out one of each. And so if I had eight bags to do, I would pull out eight items from each bag I mean, from each storage thing and then take a bag and just go down the line and put one of each in the bag. And so we're going to pretend that's what we're doing with this one. So we have a compact mirror that's going in here. We have the sweetened shimmer, unscented makeup remover wipes. And I try to place it where in the bag you can see something from both sides and not see the back of whatever it is. That's just something I do. I don't even think they care. And they have a sweet and shimmer. I keep wanting to say sweet and summer. Sweet and shimmer eyeshadow palette. And so I had that next to the compact mirror where they can read what it is. And I have um, a sample perfume. And that just goes in the middle somewhere. And it doesn't have to be lined up this way. I just think it's really neat because... When I get stuff, I want to just be like, oh, 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 you know what I mean? And we have a blush. And so that's going to go actually in front of the perfume. And then in transit, things shift around anyway. And this is a gel lip liner. And there is a lip crayon. These were donated as well. And I remember it was, um, oh my gosh, I don't know if it was the app next door it's an app called next door and it's for like your local community for stuff. And I posted about eclectic beauty and someone contacted me and she's like, Oh my gosh, I was cleaning out my stuff. And I, oh. we met at ShopRite parking lot. I did a video on that too. It was so much stuff. And that was one of the things was this lip crayon. And it was, it was so much stuff. I was like, Oh my God. And then there's a mascara. This is so cute. And this came in a pack. And so I just opened the pack and just divvied it up. And so like one person wouldn't get like eight mascaras. And so that was pretty cool too. And this was part of the donation as well. She donated a bunch of stuff. I was just like... And then I'm thinking, why did she have all this stuff? It was like three huge boxes full of stuff. 
I'm like, did she like quit working at Ulta and just took a bunch of stuff with her? Like, <laughs> it was unreal. Like how much stuff that she donated. I'm like, where did she get this from? And there's a, I, I think it's that, um, oh, it says shower cap on it, <laughs> on that side. And so that's going to go in here. And an e.l.f. powder brush. And so I do remember buying the, the brushes. Most of the brushes that I have, except for the donation, um, I believe it was Viva, You're Pretty, when she donated the Wet n Wild. Yeah, because it came from Amazon. And it was a total of 12 palettes, 12 shader brushes, and 12 packer brushes. And I was just like, oh, did I say 12 blending brushes or did I say something else? It was 12 blending brushes and 12 shader brushes and 12 eyeshadow palettes. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like everything just lined up. Everything was even, um, which is very much appreciated. And so that's this bag. And y'all saw this was the last one of this one, which means the other ones already have went somewhere else. Oh, let me move my head slowly. So this is the larger bag. And so I'm going to empty it out. And where the bags go depends on do they live at the house or is it just somewhere that they go and then they go back out on the street. Because I know if you're on the street, you don't want to carry more stuff than you need to. And so that is where something like this would go because it is small and compact. And things like this mirror, that's something they can always have with them and always use even once the makeup is gone. And so I was really glad to see a deal on that. And I think I purchased as many as they allowed me. And then I made two more orders and purchased um, the top quantity that I could because I really wanted to have those for the bags. So this is this one. It doesn't have a snap. It, it seems to be more adorable, which is good because there's larger items in it. And so what, what's in here is the Persona Identity 2 eyeshadow palette. I received one in a subscription box and for some reason they sent me a duplicate box. They, I remember what it was, it was BoxyCharm. I, I messaged in like, okay, where's my box? It says it was delivered and it wasn't. They said that they had ran out of boxes. And then two days later, the box was here. And then a couple days later, there were two more boxes. So I had three identical boxes. And I'm like, so you had none and I got three. And I did a video about that too, because that was just weird to me. So, so this has never been used. And so that's going in here. There is elf mint melt brush set because elf had a sell this was i don't know how long ago so i bought quite a few of these and also because this is a larger bag they have this i <laughs> this is a sheet mask i'm trying to see how many is in here this came in a box and i believe it was in a subscription box and i want to say it was either three or five i do not like sheet masks face mask i mean they feel slimy to me i just use the mask that you just put on your skin and then you rinse it off and I'm, i laughed when i looked at this because i remember saying i hate mask mondays in a video not too long ago and so if there's and again the larger bags are if they actually stay in a transition home and so this is something they can use there i wouldn't give this to someone with if they're on the street because they may not be able to have somewhere to wash it off and I wouldn't want them just washing it off or wiping off, wiping it off, excuse me, with a makeup remover wipe or something like that. And so I really think about where am I taking this bag to and what is their lifestyle like that they can use what they get without me causing them any inconvenience or harming their skin, leaving something like this on and not being able to use it properly. And so this one also has um, a compact mirror and makeup remover wipes are in here. A perfume sample is in here. This was donated Vaseline hand sanitizer lotion. We're still in a pandemic, okay? And so because this is larger, that's why this is in this bag. And also I did not have enough for um, multiple bags. This was a donation, LA Colors 
Wowie Lash. So this is a mascara. So that was in here. There's a blush. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want it to crack. This is Essence and these things are fragile. So they have a blush. And someone also donated. Oh, it was the lady that donated like three boxes worth of stuff. There was a whole kit of wet and wild nail polishes. And so I just divvied them up among the large bags that I was putting together. So they have a clear one, which is a top coat. And then they have a red. And so I was just like, where did she get this stuff from? And so as you see too, I wouldn't give nail polish to a bag where they're going to be on the street because I used to do my nails. I don't anymore. I keep my nails short and stubby, but I remember you need know, polish your nails. That takes time. Then you got to wait for it to dry. That takes time. And then they get chipped. And then either you leave it jacked up or you sit down, take 20 minutes with um, nail polish remover and take it off and all of that. And I'm thinking, are they going to be able to do all of that? And then I'm not giving nail polish remover either. So, or cotton swabs or balls to clean it. So I, I really think about how can they use this? But if they're in a home, I'm sure somebody has nail polish remover or um, cotton balls. Yeah. This came in a subscription box. Fresh Rose Floral Toner. Because I don't use toner. And again, if you're in a home, you can use toners. Well, you can on the streets too. But you need tools to do that with. Cotton squares, cotton balls, or something. This is a tinted eye primer from Ulta. This was a sample from something. It's looking weird because I'm seeing it through. I don't know if you heard that. I went like this. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? It's cracking. Do you hear that? That means this is hella old. And I, as I said, I can see it through the plastic. And I'm like, why is it looking like that? Okay, that's trash. This is pretty. <laughs> Y'all know I love a dark lip. I'm like, oh, this is wet and wild. <laughs> this is in the bag. No, this is not mine. And the last thing in here, again, is another brush. So for this bag, they had the eyeshadow brushes. And they get the blush brush. And so that's how I assemble the bags. I think about, is it going to a house? Is it going to someone who's going to be on the street? And I try to pack the bag accordingly. Not only what the products are, but also how large the products are. And what's going to be easy to carry if they're on the street. Stuff they can just put in their pockets or something like that and stuff that they can continue to use. For example, the compact mirror, even if they don't have any makeup, they can always use a mirror. You know what I mean? And so thank you, Anne, for the suggestion. You saw what I still have here and you saw some of the bags assembled. You seen me remove two assembled bags and saw what goes in them. And you heard my thought process into how and why I assemble the bags that I do. I do have Covering the Gap, which is the parent organization. That link is in my link tree. And under Covering the Gap is Helping Hands. And that's what Sarah had just donated. Oh my gosh, I don't want to cry. Every time I think about it, I get teary-eyed. She donated the hats, the gloves, and the neck gaithers for Helping Hands. And then there's also Eclectic Beauty. And so what I'll do for this video even though those three different links, even though it's all the same website, you just go to the website and navigate to where you want to go. I will link each one individually down below as well, just for easy access. If you're interested in seeing what we do, even though you've heard me speak about it a few times and yeah, so that'll be it for this video. And if you are interested in donating to um, covering the gap as a whole at the bottom of the homepage, there's a section that says how you can help or how you can donate. Um, they do accept cash and they'll go to either somewhere um, like Dollar Tree or Walmart or somewhere or even Amazon and pick up wherever there's a lack in what we need or if we're running low on one particular thing. And also there's an Amazon wish list. And so if you're really not knowing what to get or what we accept, the Amazon wish list makes it really easy for you, and that goes directly to um, that address. And what else was I going to say? I think I was going to say something else, and I forgot that quick. 
Um, oh, for Helping Hands page, it is a picture of what we collect and a list of what we do collect. And for Eclectic Beauty, there's the same thing. There's a picture of what we collect and a list of what we collect. And for both of those pages, it shows the pile of stuff and it shows it assembled <laughs> so that you can see what exactly we do with it. And so thank you so much again, Anne, for the suggestion on doing this. And I really honestly never even thought to do a video like this before. So I do appreciate you asking for it. And if any of you have any questions, you know, you can leave them below or you can DM me on um, Instagram or email me. My email address is below. And we do this all year round, not just for the holidays. We do this all year round. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it. And so thank you for being here. Welcome <laughs> to Vlogmas Day 4. And you will see me in the next video. As I was taking a picture for the thumbnail, underneath this box was this box. <laughs> and what's in here? <laughs> Stretching. These are the e.l.f. mint melt brushes. These are just random loose brushes. I think these I might have, yeah, these I purchased. These someone donated. These are all Equal Tools sets that I purchased when they were on sale a while ago at Ulta. And what I liked about it was they have a brush for everything and it's a reusable tin. And so I thought that would be really handy even if they're on the street. And so that is really it for this video. Thank you for watching, and you will see me for the next day of Vlogmas. Thanks.